Hi everyone! In this video, I wanted to talk to you about wedding fan programs. So we're going to talk about whether it's better to purchase a printed wedding fan program or a printable wedding fan program. Both are great, but you can see which one will work for you. We'll talk about cost, time it takes, and the benefits of each one. So let's get started. Now that you've decided you would like to use a fan for your wedding program, let's break down the details of how you can create one. Fan wedding programs are a unique addition to any wedding ceremony. With so many designs to choose from, you're sure to find a fan program to match perfectly with your wedding aesthetic. On both our Etsy shop and Zazzle shop, we have a wide range for you to choose from. The big question for you is, do you want to edit, print at home and assemble these yourself? Or would you rather edit, have them printed and shipped to your door with minimal assembly required? Let me walk you through the steps and you can decide which one will work for you. Let's start with our editable printable wedding fan program from Etsy. You can start by selecting one of our beautiful fan wedding program templates. I do run sales frequently so the cost of these could range between $6.99 and $11.55. So we're going to use the price of $7 for the digital file. Next, we're going to edit this using the free program Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. If you would like to see a video on how to edit a PDF, just click the link up here and it will take you right to our video on how to edit a PDF in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. The total time spent can range from 15 minutes to one hour. This depends on the details of your wedding program. We are going to use the total time of 30 minutes. Next is the trimming and assembling. I'm going to walk you through how to trim and assemble the fan program. First, let's go over the supply list. You will need a ruler, a cutting mat, wooden handles, your printed fans, an X-Acto knife, double-sided tape, and a corner cutter, which is optional. Starting the timer and go. This first step is optional, and you'll only need to do this on fans that include a photo because the photo will cover the center crop mark. But you wanna line up your ruler and just make a tiny mark, just so when this is folded, you will know where to cut. You'll see how this works later. The next step is to use the back of your X-Acto blade. We're not cutting down the center, we are scoring. So scoring just means that you're gonna break up the fibers of the paper so it can create a nice, clean, easy fold. So you just want to gently glide the back of the blade along the ruler. Now this will fold nice and easy. Next, use that little mark you just made and the crop mark as a guide to trim your sheets. When you're cutting, be sure not to fully trim away the paper. You will want to keep it intact so that when you go to trim the last side trim line, you will still be able to see the crop marks. Now the more you practice this, the faster you will get at trimming. And just be very careful with the X-Acto knife. They're super, super sharp. I've had to head to the ER a few times in my career and I can tell you it is not very much fun. Now that you're finished trimming, you can stop here, or as an option, you can use your corner rounder. 
I'm moving fairly slow for the sake of this video, so you may easily be able to beat my time. Now that you're ready to adhere the wooden handles, I recommend making a mark on each handle. As you can see, I've already pre-marked this handle. Using your double-sided tape, simply place tape and begin to adhere the handle to the cardstock. Then follow by lining the edges with tape. The list of items that I use to create these, I'm going to put in the comment section below. I'll provide links for each item so that you can easily purchase. Firmly close, press down, and you're done. So as you can see, the total time spent is three minutes and 45 seconds. Now let's move on to the printed fan program. As you may have noticed, the printed fans from Zazzle are slightly smaller than the size we offer on Etsy. On Etsy, they are 5x7, and on Zazzle, they are 4x6. When you go to our Zazzle shop, you will find a wide assortment of designs. You are sure to find a design that will work perfectly for you. I'm going to say the same amount of time for editing because these really vary depending on your wedding information. So again, we are going to go with 30 minutes of editing time. Once you have edited, proofed, and added to your cart, you can purchase the quantity you need. Please notice that the more you purchase, the greater savings you will have. Again, for the example in this video, we are going with the quantity of 50. Then once they arrive in the mail, you can simply assemble them. Editing is Zazzle is super easy. So if you would like to see a video in more detail on how to edit in Zazzle, I'm going to put the link up here. So just click that and it will take you to our video on how to edit in Zazzle. I'm going to show you how to assemble the fan programs from Zazzle. I'm also going to set a timer so you can see how long it takes. You can see that I marked the sticks, so all the fan programs will be uniform. Each fan comes with four glue dots. I'm going to use a clothespin just to help keep things in place. So if you want to stop here, your total time will be two minutes. But as you can see, there is a little bit of space between the cards and I just want to close that up. 
I'm going to be adding a little bit of extra double-sided tape around the edges. And again, this is completely optional. You don't need to do this. I just personally like the look of this better. I'm going to show you how these look side by side. As you can see, the printable is a little bit larger. This is a five by seven and the printed is a little bit smaller. This is four by six. So you can see as I'm holding it, how it relates to each other. And you can see the fonts on the back. The fonts are probably two point sizes larger on the printable version versus the printed version. But I do have to say, I am not having any trouble reading it, and I definitely need uh, readers, unfortunately, um, these days. So even as I get closer, um, obviously it gets a little blurry because I do need readers, but even at arm's length, I can still clearly read everything uh, with no trouble at all. So if you're worried about older relatives at your wedding, I don't think they're gonna have any trouble with this. Um, either one, it's really your call. So just to quickly talk about the print quality, I can say that the printed version was much better quality than my home printer uh, with the printable version. You can even see there's a slight color difference. Um, this one is a little bit softer and this one has more green. Um, every home printer is going to print a little bit differently. So you may want to take your file to a local copy center if you don't think that your home printer will be able to print with a higher quality. Now my home printer does have very good quality, but I mean, just looking at it, you can definitely see that the printed version is just a step above. Either way, they're both great options. You just have to decide which one will work best for you. To summarize everything into one simple spreadsheet, because who doesn't love a good spreadsheet? Here are the comparisons between the two options. Now when I'm pricing these out, I'm going to use the quantity of 50, but I'm gonna leave some other pricing options in there for a few other quantities. So that way it will help you make your decision. So the total time spent for the printable was 30 minutes for editing and three hours and 30 minutes for assembling. The cost for 50 is $7 for the digital file, $25 for the cardstock, $17 for wooden handles, $6 for double-sided tape, $12 for the corner rounder. So that leaves us with a total cost of $67. Now the total time for the printed wedding fan program, the editing time took 30 minutes and the assembling time took two hours and 30 minutes. But don't forget that printing and shipping took about eight business days. So the total cost for the printed fans was $99.450. Also note that you can purchase these in lower amounts, and you can even purchase one as a sample if you would like to take a look at the finished product before you make a larger purchase. Overall, the price for 50 was less for the printable fan. If you're planning on creating less than 50, the cost would be better for the printed version. Or if you already have cardstock and other items, you could be saving money that way. Also with the printable option, you're purchasing 250 sheets of cardstock, and you could use that for other items like your menus, table signs, table numbers. So that could be another savings for you as well. For time, overall, the printable fans took a lot more time to assemble, but you're also not waiting for printing and shipping time. The printing quality from Zazzle was much better than my home printer, but you could take the printable file to a local copy center for printing, which would be equivalent to Zazzle's quality. The size of the fans are very different, so this is definitely a preference that you will have to think about. You'll need to see which one works better for your wedding. Thank you for watching our video on whether you should purchase a printed wedding fan program 
or a printable wedding fan program. I hope this video helped you make a decision on which wedding fan program will work for you. If you have any ideas or suggestions of videos that you would like to see, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to leave links to both of the fan programs that I used in this video. One will be for the printable Etsy fan program and one will be for the printed Zazzle fan program. Don't forget to check out our website at creativeuniondesign.com for tons of great ideas for your next event.